troops who stand ready for battle on the front line. His words to them were an echo of the message to all troops from their countrymen. Bonne chance à tous. Good luck to all. These soldiers will go to war when the Allied headquarters is convinced that the Iraqi army has been so weakened that their casualties will be minimal. Military analysts are producing figures to suggest that that's happening. The Americans say their bombers have destroyed at least 1,300 of Iraq's 4,200 tanks along with 1,100 artillery pieces. The British say bombing raids like this on a hardened aircraft shelter have achieved spectacular results. Iraq started with 594 of these uh, before hostilities uh, and under 45% remain undamaged as of today. Sir Peter de la Billier remains cautious about estimates of damage to the Republican Guard. I wouldn't want to get tied up in figures because I think uh, uh, one must ask oneself on what the figures are based. The only way we're really going to find out is when we face him at the end of the barrel of a gun. But he admits the tanks will start to roll when intelligence officers decide the Iraqi army is sufficiently weakened. We shall not uh, decide to launch a ground attack until we are certain that our air forces have prepared the battlefield to a state where we can go in and minimize the uh, coalition casualties. Is there a tentative date at this point? <coughs> well, of course there's a tentative date, yes. This latest information about the damage done to the Iraqi army, put together with the general's words, will all add to the speculation here that the land battle cannot be far away. Tornado's daily missions have been going well in the past three and a half weeks. Until today, a great relief after heavy losses in the first days of the air war. Five tornadoes went down in combat and another one due to mechanical failure. Working with buccaneers using precision laser-guided bombs to hit their mark, the tornadoes have for the last three days been targeting Iraqi hardened aircraft shelters. It was during one of those missions earlier today that the plane was lost. Other aircrew on the mission saw what happened but didn't know whether or not the crew had ejected and couldn't confirm whether the tornado had been hit or had gone down for another reason. There's always that, uh, that chance that the crew have got out uh, unseen by us uh, and that therefore you know, they will uh, turn up in, uh, in time and we all hope that. Uh, but yes, it does, um, you know, it does bring it home to you, uh, just uh, what it's like out there. Today's loss confirms that despite a change in tactics, these missions deep into enemy territory are as dangerous as ever. I suppose the, you know, the thing that it brings home to you is that you are, uh, you are in a war out there. We've seen plenty of missiles launched at us um, in, the, in the past uh, few weeks, a lot of AAA. We put uh, the AAA underneath us um, compared to the, the first week that we were flying here, as you know, with uh, a change in, um, in our operating tactics and techniques, because we now have air supremacy. Uh, what uh, this particular uh, incident has brought home to us is uh, the fact that there's still Johnny Whiskey out there. This video from a similar mission yesterday shows how effective these bombing raids are being against Iraqi hardened aircraft shelters. And although a plane has gone down, these attacks will continue. News of today's loss came as a severe blow here, after so many weeks and so many hundreds of sorties without losing an aircraft. But the RAF has a job to do, and although people are saddened, they're determined to carry on until their work is done.